Hello, I'm uh, Michal Jurevic, uh, the founder and chief designer of MyTech Audio in New York. And I'm happy to announce today that we are about to release the first version of the software for the new Empire Streamer, the new flagship product from MyTech. And I'm gonna quickly explain the general idea of the Empire and then uh, show you a little bit how the software works. The Empire Streamer is a high-end um, music streamer with built-in DAC and built-in room core. It's essentially a all one box containing a complete room system as well as a very high quality, the best ever duck made by MyTech. Uh, all is encapsulated in, in a chassis that's made of one block of aluminum and it's basically a complete departure from our past software into a new platform that we call MyTech OS and is basically a Linux audio based software uh, that allows us to control both the room engine as well as add additional functionality to the unit. So um, conceptually the Empire has two computers inside. One is the room computer based on a Intel i7. There is another computer that operates MyTech operating system that is also based on i7 and they are built inside the box. The unit provides all kinds of connectivity, network, Wi-Fi, USB, and so on and allows to communicate with uh, whatever uh, else is connected to the system. Anybody who's familiar with Room will immediately understand the concept of Empire. Empire is essentially everything that Room can do plus more. That plus more means the highest possible quality DAC built inside the box uh, with dual uh, ESS chipsets, Sabre chipsets, uh, additional connections such as Wi-Fi, USB and so on, uh, connection to the network and connection to all kinds of devices that you can control the Rune or the MyTech OS from. I will now uh, poke around on this uh, uh, three screens just so you get a sense of what the operation looks like and what's on each screen when I'm doing this.
MyTech software team will periodically release software updates for the MyTech OS Linux operating system and the, the update procedure is similar to updating any computer. The fact that the software is available will be prompted in the menu, basically offering an update, which is the choice of the client. You can update or you can skip it. Similarly, when Rune releases the new version of Rune operating system, it will also become available in a similar fashion when you can basically update the Rune OS part of the system. Uh, so uh, here I see the notification on the, in the main menu that the update is available. I click on it. Uh, it tells me that uh, I can download it. I download it uh, and uh, restart the unit and the new uh, operating system will be now installed with an option to return to the original settings if somebody wanted to wipe out the empire from all the uh, custom data that they have. A few words. Um, a few words about the uh, the new MyTech um, OS Linux audio platform. Uh, the Empire, followed by the Manhattan Bridge and the Brooklyn Bridge, is a completely new endeavor for us. It is a new software platform that we've been developing for the last two years and it's based on a Linux audio and Intel processors and we will continue using this platform on all devices uh, going forward. So MyTech Empire again, Manhattan Bridge and Brooklyn Bridge will essentially use the same software platform although with differences in hardware. So the main difference between the uh, Empire and, uh, and for example, Brooklyn Bridge would be the size of the screen. Uh, the screen on the Brooklyn Bridge is very small and generally for auxiliary purposes only. Uh, while um, the main controls are meant to be conducted from an iPad where the MyTech OS application will also be available uh, uh, on an iPad or iPhone as well. So that screen can be repeated. Uh, the other difference in hardware is that the Brooklyn Bridge features i3 processors, uh, while uh, Manhattan Bridge uses i5 processors and i7 is included in the Empire. Uh, that means that on a Brooklyn Bridge, you may have a little less of DSP abilities such as you know fast DSD upsampling and so on. Uh, not all frequencies might be possible. Uh, the Empire offers the highest digital uh, performance of all of them. Thank you very much uh, and till the next time. Thank you.